Greetings, this is the Crunchy Fan. This is part three to what if female Deku was a Shalithrit. Now, we're gonna pick up uh, where we left off with uh, Shoto comforting uh, Shell after her, her mental breakdown. As a uh, as Shell is just, is uh, calming down. Todoroki is also using his ice to um, uh, lower lower sh Shell's body temperature because af because after during when she was in the water zone her body temperature did rise so she did have a bit of a fever so Shoto lowered his body used his ice to lower her body temperature which did work and once they got back to everywhere everyone else and they got back to UA, they then announced that they would be off for two weeks, but they were told that there would be a sports festival. So, after they were told that, they all went off to do their training, and Kirishima asked, asked to train with Shell, since their quirks are, since their quirks are kind of similar. As Shell explained to Kirish, uh, as Shell is trying to hide the fact that she was technically not born but created in an Altera lab, she says sure. She says sure to Kirishima as Todoroki was also training with them as well. With with uh, Todoroki, then with Shell noticing that Todoroki won't use his uh fire use his uh, fire half of his quirk. And she asked why that was, with Shoto info-dumping all the trauma they went through, through, and what his childhood was like. As Shell says, that uh, his quirk is his, and it's not Endeavor's, and he can do whatever he wants with it. His quirk is... His quirk may be similar to Endeavor's, but it's his not, and not Endeavor's. Now, after this, uh, Toko Todoroki does start using his, uh, fire half of his quirk a lot more often, and <clears throat> it gets to the point where it is about as strong as Endeavor's, but it's not at its full potential. <clears throat> so, the sports festival rolls around, as... Uh, the class representative, the first year representative this time, uh, it's going to be, uh, Shell, since she won first place in the, in the entrance exam. Uh, she gives her speech stating that, uh, she hopes that everybody, uh, tries their best and they'll give the crowd a good show. As, every, all the first years just start, uh, cheering as Monoma and Shinso are just rolling their eyes, uh, stating how that they, with Monoma stating that, uh, she's, she's too weak. I don't know how she managed to get into 1A. As Shell hears this and just blatantly ignores it. With the, the race beginning, Todoroki manages to freeze everybody. Freeze, uh, Everyone, but but Shell knows that he would have tried something like this, so she jumped. So she just immediately started running as soon as President Mike said go, with her narrowly avoiding Todoroki's ice. But uh, Todoro but Todoroki Bakugo but Todoroki and Bakugo begin to catch up with her as they encounter the. Uh, I believe it was the uh, robe the. Uh, Robots from the entrance exam first, I believe. As once they encounter them, Shell Shell just uses the uh, clockwork that she has as she just tears all the robots to shreds as she runs past them. As they continue running a bit further, instead of a canyon, this time it's just going to be a massive body of water, which uh, Shell. 
promptly uh, swim through swim th swim through uh but she uh, doesn't uh change but her th but she does grow to her about 100 meters but after she gets out of the water she shrinks down she only did that to get get uh, past the water area a lot quicker as she starts running she then makes it to the minefield with her promptly uh running through it since uh, she can, since her armor, body armor is impenetrable, she just runs through it with them going off, but they're doing not much to her, but the force is still enough. But she notices uh, Bakugo and Todoroki catching up to her. And at this point, she can use about 15% um, of one for all. So she charges up to 15% and just starts booking it to the finish line, and she ends up winning uh, first place in the uh, race, with Todoroki coming in second and Bakugo coming in third. Then we get on to the cavalry battle with uh, Kirishima and Todoroki being asking to uh, join Shell on her team, where and May will also uh, join on uh, their team team as well, as she uh, would use her uh, support items in the uh, cavalry battle as well, with with uh, Shell's team getting in first place, uh, Bakugo's team getting in second place, Shinso's team getting in third place, and you know what, I'm going to say uh, M and Monoma's team getting in fourth place. So Monoma and Shinso make it to the tournament, the actual tournament, in the, uh, like they did the canon. So, once they've, uh, gone to the ba battles, first up, it is, uh, I'm gonna change, like, the first fight, so the first fight is gonna be, uh, Mon Shell versus Monoma. With Monoma, um, with Shell running up to Monoma, and, and, uh, her trying to, uh, throw a punch at him, but Monoma manages to evade it and grabbed her arm, trying to cop, trying to copy her, um, body armor. But, uh, but when he tries to use it, it doesn't, but when Shell throws another punch as he tries to use it, it doesn't activate the so since her body armor isn't a quirk. So once the uh, Monoma tries to do that and it doesn't work, he gets punched in the gut as he's sent uh, flying across the uh, arena, but doesn't. Um, but he barely manages to keep himself in since he had copied her. Uh, clockwork and dug them into the ground as he then goes on the offensive with Shell managing to block every one of them and grabbing Monoma's leg with her tail as she sw slams them into the ground and then flings them out of the arena with her winning that match. As Monoma is confused on why he couldn't copy her uh, body armor and enraged that he lost to someone he deemed as inferior to him. So, so in this one, Monoma is a bit more egotistical, so he sees anybody with a, any, somebody like Shell with a bo somebody like, uh, like Shell, who he thinks Quirk is weaker than him, is as inferior. So he still has that superiority complex in canon, as he does. Though the next fight would be uh, Todoroki versus Shinso. As, Shins as Todoroki does the same thing as Izuku does in canon, gives, Mon gives Shinso that uh, speech that people, work that, uh, people work hard to get their Quirks to the level they are on. To the levels where they are, and Shinso was 
and Shinzo gets that as he uh, loses his fight, as Todoroki wins his match against Mon against uh, Shinzo. And so the next one would be a uh, Baku, I believe Bakugo versus Uraraka. That would go the same in, as in canon. Bakugo, no, not ba uh, Tokiyami versus Momo. That would go as in canon. But this time, Momo's... Momo's, um... So I'm going to change Momo's character a bit so to where, um... She is trying to get... She wants Todoroki, but he do she doesn't know that uh, he is dating uh, Shell. Right. Right now, so he's currently... So she is currently trying to get uh, Shoto, Shoto's attention. So... Um, she loses, loses the fight against, uh, um, Tokiyami, and Tokiyami loses his fight to Bakugo. And now, the next fight will be, uh, Shell versus Todoroki. With Todoroki, uh, with, um, both of them going all out. Todoroki using his fire half, which he nearly manages to beat Shell, but due to him using his fire side as well, um, a, there's a lot of water in the are in the arena due to the ice melting from his fire, and I think you you all know where this is going. Uh, Shell then man grows to about one hundred meters and just puts then just a. Uh, Picks up Todoroki and just plops him outside of the arena, with her winning and sh and uh, uh, her getting all the water off of her shrinks back down. Now, I some of you may be confused, but as in the first part, uh, if she is submerged or covered in water, she will grow to about one hundred meters. It's sort of like those, uh, you know, those uh, those uh, low growing dinosaurs dinosaur alien toys you'd get uh, when you're younger where they'd grow from an egg into like an actual like little dinosaur figurine thing yeah sort of like that so um shell the final fight will be uh bakugo versus shell as bakugo would bakugo would put up a good fight against shell but Shell would use, uh, but when Spakugo was about to fire off his, uh, Howitzer impact, Shell then, uh, man temporarily, like, temporarily, like, for short bursts, uses 100% of one for all, as she manages to dodge in and get behind Bakugo with her grab, then grabbing Bakugo's neck with her tail and then flinging him out of the arena. With Shell with about with one broken leg, so so she didn't power into both legs. She powered it into one leg, one leg, um, winning the sports festival. As she gets that leg healed up by Recovery Girl, as she then gets as she wins first place in the sports festival. And after this, after this, uh, this is going to take place. Uh, Hold on, hold on, give me a minute. Alright, so... This will take place in between uh, them getting their internships and the sports festival. Uh, Momo would try to ask Todoroki out on a date, but Todoroki would, re would uh, reject it and state that he is currently uh, dating Shell as Shell, round as Shell would around the corner corner and Momo giving her a death glare as once that happens sorry about that as a shell rounds the corner Momo gives her a death glare as when Momo walks off she nudges her shoulder into shells as she as Momo walks off as after this, Shell was wondering what that was all about, as Todoroki explains the situation, as Shell states, states, uh, that, that guessing that was just a bad timing then, 
as Shoto said, said, said uh, it's fine, it's a, it wasn't her fault. As after the internship begins, uh, Momo tries to get, dig up something on uh, Shell's background. <laughs> Shell's background. When she gets a message from a com company we all know and probably hate in this what if, Altera. With them, with uh, Momo messaging her saying that she need that she would like some information on a woman named uh, Shell. And they would um, state, they would send her like uh, all the files that they had on Shell that were recovered from the research site before they were taken. These were all digital copies, so the heroes couldn't get them since they were security locked. And Momo just looked at all the information that Altera had on Shell with uh, with all the uh, failed predece predecessors of Shell, st with uh, her Shell being the only one that actually worked, and Momo decides to use this against her against Shell to try and get Todoroki and take him take Todoroki away from Shell, as. As Momo would then send forward this to everybody in Class 1A, including Shoto, with uh, Shoto reading this and just being in, just being in shock about um, what Altera did to her, with him, with him, uh, with Shell having a mental break with Todoroki talking to Shell about this, with her having a mental breakdown stating that it was true, that she was created by Altera to be used as a weapon to clear out any rebellious colonies. But before that any of that could happen, the heroes came and rescued her before they could even use her for those purposes. As after the internships are over, um, Shell did go to Gran Torino and you, and furthered her percentage use on full cowling, putting it up to eighteen percent. And everybody now looks at uh, Shell differently, differently with uh, most of them looking at her with uh, sympathy, whereas Bakugo and. Uh, Anyone else who had a negative opinion on her looked at her in just sheer disgust, calling her a monster. With, um, with Shell basically getting pretty upset with this, and if it didn't help any anymore, UA decided to implement the dorms due to them being attacked due to students being attacked by the League of Villains from the USJ. So the dorms are implemented with um, um, Shell being put in a do specializing her dorm for um, as a uh, water habit habitat. Now she can choose whether she wants to grow to at this point she can choose whether she wants to grow to 100 meters or not. So her be her where her bed is is actually just like a large, like a uh, pool sized body of water with everything in there being specially made to survive within the water. Within the water when they're being used, so like her, so like and her phone and uh, and anything else, including the books that she has, and all of them are from from Altera, which the hero scavenged, and it's all about uh. Basically has all the information on each of the creatures from Planet 456B from ranging from the peepers to the ghost of Isons. As she did read all of them, but she also hands some to Todoroki to research do his, to do his own research on her on if he wanted to look at look at her what her Shalicerate half is capable of doing. So 
Todoroki looks it up and finds something about the uh, mating, her mating seasons, which she does have, and finds that's usually sometime around the winter. So, um, and finds out that most of some parts of her armor will shift um, around for that for that determined period of time. With Shoto, with Shoto literally just thinking about it for a second and then immediately turns red and shuts the book. As Shell would notice this and ask him, you found the part about the uh, mating seasons, didn't you? As Shoto said, mm-hmm. As Shell would immediately turn red as well. As that shell would uh, quietly call Todoroki a pervert. And um, with that happening, um, let me give me a minute. All right, now we'll go to the uh, final exams where Shell and Bakugo will be facing off against All Might. And um, this goes about as well as it does in canon with uh, with Shell and B Bakugo. Sorry about that. As I was saying, uh, after they finish their final exams, they then go to the uh, forest training camp with um, them meeting the wild wild pussycats and Shell knowing um, what they're doing now. The uh, training camp thing takes place a lot later, so it's currently winter. It's currently winter right now. So Shell is using something to cover up the bits of arm of her armor plating that has shifted around. And they are currently still shifting, so she is currently um a bit uncomfortable right now with the uh, with the amount of armor plates that are shifting around. With um, her, then with once they go off, with her telling, whispering to Todoroki, that uh, that it's her, it's reached her mating season. Now at this time, if I re remember in the first part, UA is a college, so all of them are about eighteen years old. So once uh, she once to shell with with that Todoroki, um, they have reached the point where they have to make it all the way to the training camp with um, m them meeting up with the Wild Wild Pussycats, Aizawa, and meeting Kota. And once Shell goes to greet Kota, Kota goes to try and punch her with Shell stopping gra stopping the punch saying, no, that's not very nice of, it, of you to do that to a lady. With Kota uh, taking his hand back saying, whatever as he storms off and then we uh reach the we reach, we reach the uh the onsen scene uh you know the one with where Mineta tried to climb up the wall yeah that scene with uh shell then with a lot of them asking uh asking about her uh chillis or half since a lot of them had grown to um Except some of the a lot of the girls like uh, uh, Mina and uh, oh wait I didn't don't think I put anybody from class one B into class one A did I after I kicked out Hager Curry um then I'll say uh, 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 Obanya I think that's her no um the uh, girl with the vine hair um I forgot her name but uh, if you know her name put it in the comments and then I'll remember try to remember it uh, she's in class one A now. With them asking about her chelicerate half, as she then explains that since it's winter, um, it is her ma is her mating season, so she will be a bit uncomfortable and a tad bit more aggressive than she normally would be. With um, all of them under ask understanding, and Mineta hearing this, he would no hearing overhearing that. Uh, uh, her whisper on the bus to Hiroki that uh, her armor plating had shifted around, so a bit, a few more parts are a bit are revealed. 
So Mineta has that purpose to climb the wall to see to see uh, what her essential parts are. As once he gets to the top of the wall, uh, Kota's there as he does the same thing as in Canon and knocking Mineta off the wall with uh, the girl thanking Co Kota, but uh, Sh Shell had uh, sunk into the water so that uh, Kota can't see her essential bits. Uh, but Kota sees everybody else as he does in canon, as he then is about to fall over into the uh, girl's... For plot reasons, he, about home, he falls over into the girl's half, but Shell runs out and catches him. But she has a towel wrapped around her, so... As she then hands him to Mandalay, asking uh, why does Kota hate heroes, as Mandalay gives the same explanation as in canon. And, uh, Shell is feeling a bit sorry for Kota. And the next day, since it's their quirk chain raining, and it's still tech Now, um, if I remember correctly, Shell's mating season... No, I would just say this. Shell's mating season will last throughout, uh, uh, most of winter. So she'll be in her mating season for about, uh, six weeks. So... Um, she, so, um, once she's doing her, as she's doing her cork training, she's still wearing, um, uh, she's still covered up quite, quite a bit as, at the end of the day, um, she asks, uh, Todoro Todoroki to meet up with her after that, that, and let's just say, um, no, I'm not going to say anything, but you can imagine what happens. So, after that... Um... After that, uh... As, after everyone wakes up, uh, they notice that there's... A object, like a... Ovular, ovular object... Right next to Shell, as they open up, as they, um... Reveal it, they find that it is... It is... Take a while to guess. I'm just gonna say it, it's an egg. And before you, if you're gonna ask, yeah, Shell can technically have two types of offspring, live and egged offspring. That's how I'm doing this. So, um, everybody is shocked to find that uh, Shell had laid an egg as, um, once uh, that happened, once they uh, had found that out, Shell, Shell was a bit embarrassed, and, um, and, uh, Todoroki, once he found out, was a bit flustered. Everybody in Class 1A, including the staff that were there, put two and two together, and found out that, and know that Shoto is, and found out that Shoto is the dad. As... Shell and Todoroki just tr just try to hide their embarrassment from everyone else. And Mineta and Denki would just be... Oh, damn it, no!